Hello, this is Andrew Dugill with Hoffman Royalty, Tampa Property Management, and this is another in our helpful blog series, and this one is called Move Up Buyers, Should I Rent or Sell? Now, in the last couple of years, about a quarter of all the inquiries to our office have been from move up buyers. Move up buyers are people that are buying a bigger home, maybe a nicer home, or perhaps a home that is better located. And they're trying to decide, should I keep my current property as a rental property? And what we tell, what we tell them is this, that residential real estate is just a fantastic way to build long-term wealth. But before you decide to dip your toe in the market of being a landlord, you should ask yourself these four very important questions. The first question is, can you afford to buy a second home if you don't sell your current home? So do you need the equity out of your current home as a down payment on the next property? And if you've got a mortgage on your current property, can you get a second mortgage if you don't sell your current home? The second question to ask yourself is, do you have the financial resources to own two properties? This is particularly important if you'll have two mortgages, one on the old home and one on the new property. Now, even if the rent on the old property is enough to cover the monthly mortgage payment, there's still going to be times when you're going to have to come out of pocket on the old property. For example, if there are vacancies, if there are, you know, routine repairs or major major repairs for example perhaps you need a new air conditioning system maybe a new exterior paint job perhaps you've got to replace the interior carpet do you have the financial resources to cover both properties so question number three is are you prepared to be a landlord now even if you hire a good property manager to rent your property and take those 2 a.m. maintenance calls how will you feel if a renter complains and once maintained things about your old property that you were perfectly acceptable to tolerate. For example, what about that shower that has low water pressure or the back door that you have to lift slightly to lock? If that type of stuff is going to drive you crazy, don't become a landlord. The fourth question to ask yourself is, what is your time frame? Now, residential real estate is just really good over the long term at building wealth. It doesn't work so well over the short term. You know, the very first property that I ever bought and lived in was about 32 years ago. And when I moved, I kept that property as a rental property. Now, over the last 32 years, the price has increased and my renters have helped pay off that mortgage. So I now have really great equity in that property. But if your time frame is a lot shorter, say one to three years, it doesn't work as well unless market conditions are driving up the price in your neighborhood. So these are the four important questions to ask yourself if you're a move up buyer considering keeping your current property as a rental. If you have questions about the blog today, please contact us. We'll be happy to talk to you. Thank you very much.